welcome back to my channel. I'm Sylvia, the Crafty Old Lady, and today's journal with me is going to be my Valentine's um, spread. Now, I'm going to actually put this uh, at the top of the page as a page topper, so it'll be on that side too, which I might need both sides anyway. So that's the first thing I'm going to do, is put this on. And... Um, a little bit on the edges to hold it down. I'm going to use a pink heart doily on the spread somewhere, but that's going to be just pink on pink, and it, you know, you're not even going to notice it. So I decided to just stick with white, and you know me with blue. I found this. Um, I printed it out. You couldn't really read what it said, so I just went over that with. Um, marker and I'm just gonna actually just glue it down so we know that this is a Thanksgiving Thanksgiving <laughs> I'm gonna glue it down so that we know this is a <laughs> Valentine's spread actually probably might be even more than two pages they do have a bunch of photographs and this little corner needs a bit put that like that and I have some got these for my daughter um, from Dollar Tree so I thought we could test out how they work and I might put some on there oh how do you do this oh <laughs> you open it up and you test it out it worked good so I'm going to put that right there and that looks pretty good. Um, I also have, I don't know, did I show you these heart stickers? Um, they're like jewels, so they're pretty puffy. I'm just going to put a couple across the bottom of the page here. I got pink ones, and mm, I don't think I'm going to do the pinks because they aren't, they're not going to show up very well. I'll just do a few across the bottom in different I don't want them to be like all straight across and I think that's good that looks cute actually I just dropped something but I don't know what it was <laughs> oh I know what it was it was the ink thing for this uh, I'll have to find that. There's other ones too. Hugs. A hugs would be a good one, and there's a prettier heart there. This one. We'll use that one. And hugs. This is cute. A little truck. That could be a cute border if they all work good. And um, there's a gnome. I'm not really big into gnomes. But my husband is because he looks like a gnome. That would be a good one for the grandchildren's pictures page. I really can't find that other ink thing that I just dropped. Oh well. Okay, so um, what else have I got here? I've got mostly pictures of my grandchildren and um, my Thanksgiving cactus. I think that's why I goofed up and said Thanksgiving spread before. Bloomed. It had one last little bloom in it for the, for uh, Valentine's Day. So I'm going to just kind of put that right here. Um, see how many pictures. I've got four grandchildren pictures, which I think will they fit side by side. Yes. I was going to put Actually, I wanted to put like little borders on them, so uh, let's find some paper to do that with. Alright, so I have got found some paper that I wanted to do a border in, and I'm going to put one picture here and another one here, uh, like that. And then my grandchildren's pictures are going to be over here with some stamps and 
stickers and that will probably be it. So I can glue this one down and do the stamping. I'm going to put this one right here. And um, where's my other heart? Let's try this heart. See how this one stamps. All right, I think I need to put some pressure on it, but yeah, that came out cute. Um, let's see, let's do the XO. Uh, that one's not working so good. I don't think I'm gonna use that one now, unless I can get it to come out better. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work. Okay, let's try the hugs. Let's see if hugs works. Hugs works good. I just gotta make sure I'm doing it the right way. Okay, so we'll do some hugs right here. Does that show up? Yep. And let's see, maybe another hug down here. And I wish I could get this XO, XO one to work better. Oops. It's just not coming out good enough. I don't think you'd even be able to see it. So, love never fails. Let's see if that one works. Love never fails. Well, that one came out pretty good. Let's try that one. Put that one right here. It came out pretty good, I guess. And then we'll put some hearts. Um, there's this heart. We'll do this one again. Okay. Hopefully they're not going to be covered up. I still um, have not found that other one, and it's bugging me. I'm going to have to get down on my hands and knees to find it. I'm going to glue the other pictures on, and then I'll cover their faces and show you the finished spread. Okay, so the little red truck seemed to stamp out pretty good, so I'm going to... Uh, it's not working out so great on here, though. Well, I'm going to stamp some across the bottom, and they're not going to be straight or in line. Uh, yeah, it's pretty... Well, you can see a hint of it. It didn't work out too well, did it? All right. So here is my finished Valentine's Day spread. The front page is just decoration, and it's letting us know that it's Valentine's Day. I added some flowers, and then over here I've got the pictures of my uh, Thanksgiving cactus bloom. I added some more flowers over here too. And then just my grandchildren. Um, I didn't get to see all of them on Valentine's Day. Actually, I didn't see any of them on Valentine's Day, but we did have a chance to give um, to get together with some of them and that was nice um, my son brought this grandson over and that's what this picture is about Bethany was holding him and he was honking her nose <laughs> he's so cute and then we took my daughter and granddaughter out for pizza and that was fun I hope you all had a very happy Valentine's Day. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next video.